Okay, so we're in 3ds Max 2019. We're just going to take a look at uh, smoothing groups. So I have some simple geometry I put in. So I just went into my Create menu and created some standard primitives. And we're just going to take a look really at these two for the, um, the smoothing groups. So I'm going to go into my Modifier tab. In my Modifier list, I'm going to apply an Edit Poly to both my torus and to my sphere so we can see how these are looking so when you have your just your regular primitives we don't have control over our smoothing groups when we put on an edit poly then you'll see we have the ability to go in and adjust our smoothing groups for our smoothness so we'll take a look at this I'm just gonna go full screen and click hard and now we're seeing each polygon if I click smooth, it's applying a smoothing algorithm onto our polygons to stop us from seeing every facet. So it's just the way the light is reflecting off of it. Smooth 30 is dealing with a 30 degree. So with this, um, it applies your, to your polygons on the model and smoothing it as necessary for the groups. And it's doing a 30 degree smooth. And here, I'm going to go and apply the hard the smooth and then on this one we'll be able to see the smooth 30 better because we have a greater angle at the top so you'll see how that's fastening up there so that's the button up here and then if I click on polygon now we come down here we'll see that we have polygon smoothing groups so we have smoothing group 1, 2, 1, Two. So we have two different smoothing groups on this geometry. And we can see which is which if I say select by SG for smoothing group. I can select two and see all the areas that were assigned polygon smoothing group two. Now let me just smooth this out more so visually it's smooth. But that is our group two. Again, select by group 1 and there's group 1. I'm going to deselect it. We have the group 1. Turn on 30. Select by. Now we have two groups. So that's how it's organizing when it's smoothing the polygons. All right, we're just going to back to smooth for this. And if I come over here we'll see that we also have some smoothing groups. Click on the cone, edible poly, click polygon, and then select. And we have smoothing group four. Let's just select by groups. We have one and four for this. So it pre-assigns different smoothing groups to your geometry when you make it. And we're just going to look at the sphere and how to work with this. So again, we have an edit poly. I'm going to go into polygon mode. And we're going to use this. I'm just going to twirl these up so we get a better view. We're going to use these polygon smoothing groups. So I know we only have one smoothing group. And if I click on the one with select by smoothing group, it'll select the whole object. If I want to change what smoothing group we're using, we can clear all smoothing groups by clicking this button or we can go in and actually I have smooth 30 set so let's just go smooth smooth 180 um, we can click 45 that'll work fine for this and enter the number for the smoothing group that we that we want okay so we have smoothing group one I'm just going to change my view we're going to go up into front view to, so it's easier for me to select and I'm going to select some polygons at the top go back to perspective hit the home grid so we get to see it better and I'm going to turn off the one and now if I deselect that you'll see that they are all faceted I'm going to undo just to get the selection back quickly and if I turn on polygon group 2 and we deselect we'll see we get a seam where the two groups meet now sometimes you want this sometimes you have something like a sword and you want a hard edge. 
and it might not look hard enough so if you change your polygon groups you'll get that hard edge but you often don't want it to go all the way around an object so you can apply another smoothing group to adjust this so it doesn't matter which number you, you choose we're just going to go back to that let's say front side I'm going to just select a ring I want one on each side so I'm just going to hold down all I don't need it that high and right now we have the ring all the way across I'm going to make a much smaller selection so I'm going to alt deselect and then alt deselect that so we just have this one little area so let's just go into perspective and take a look at this so now I'm going to assign just number three to that area. When I deselect it, where we just have one and two next to each other, we have the facet. But where we have a third group over that area, we have a nice clean smoothing group. So again, this is how you can control your smoothing groups to get the look that you want in your geometry without forcing um, a hard edge in certain yeah, locations. So I just want a, a little seam. We can get that. All right.